take one more step back, guys. Deontay, how about yourself? Doing good. Deontay, first question for you. You mentioned your last your last three years are going to be legendary or your next three years before you retire. What fights need to happen to make sure you not only go down as a Hall of Famer, which most people think you are, but as maybe a top 10 heavyweight? Well, I just, I mean, for me, for me, I want all the top, the champions, the, the number one contenders, you know what I mean? Um, all those at the top. So uh, it's not really in, in any particular order, you know what I mean? And, and, and that's what I'm going with, you know what I mean? So uh, all the all the best at the top. You know, I'm, I'm not going to stop. Uh, I'm picking up where I left off at, you know what I'm saying? And I'm continuing to go on along with that, you know, two to three fights a year. I preferably have three. I only have three years left, guys, and uh, those three years are going to go by super fast. So with that being said, I don't want to waste any time. I don't want to waste my time nor the fans' time. So uh, um, long live the heavyweight division. You're getting granted. Um, you said you only have three years left, and you, you want to fight the top guys like you've always been doing. But people always want to hear, like, a man, you know? Like, who are some of the guys where you're just like, if I end my career, I'll be a little more satisfied if I didn't fight this guy, like Joshua or anybody else? Who are just a few I mean, guys? Joshua's definitely in there. I mean, whoever you can name is in there. I mean, I'm sure you got your list, and they probably up in there as well. I can name a lot of, not a lot of names. You know, but uh, it's a lot of people that agree and disagree. So, you know, um, uh, you got the Uzi, you got the Ruiz, you got the Joshua. Those are the top three guys that people really want to see. Especially Joshua is the number one fight in the world for me, uh, me and him. That's uh, And that, that goes out for uh, everywhere I go, I hear people say, me and Joshua, me and Joshua. And uh, that's the number one fight for them as well, uh, for them. So with that being said, you know, if that's the number one fight in the world for me to have, that's what I want. Does you anything you We just went back to the basics of the thing. We, we went back to having fun and doing things for what got me here. You know what I mean? It's, uh, uh, come Saturday night, it's, uh, I don't want people to think that I, I, I uh, found a new style or anything like that. Just going back to the basics of things, you know, and having fun while doing it. I'm tired of this phase of my career is uh, being having fun. You know what I mean? I'm, uh, I'm soaking in my happiness and my peace, and um, and it's all about fun. What comes my way comes. What not, don't. It's just like what I can control, I'm gonna control. What I can't handle, then hey. Your head's right. Your head's right. Isn't it? I'm always good. I'm always good. Hey, Deontay, 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 Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV. Deontay, uh, we've seen. You said that you're, you don't have a new style or anything, but we've seen uh, what looks like some really strong footwork from you. Mm -hmm. uh, how important is that footwork going to be for you going forward here? Footwork is going to be very important. I mean, I mean, if you go back to the first part of Stavern, I, 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 I displayed a lot of movement. You know what I mean? We was agile, mobile, and hostile. And just going back to that, you know, agile, mobile, and hostile. You can go through your career for so long, changing up different things, finding different guys all over the world. You pick up certain things, you know, you, you get rid of certain things. So, uh, just going back to the basics of things. Hey, Deontay, uh, you, fought, you fought in the UK before. You just mentioned Anthony Joshua. Uh, what, does it matter if you fought him here in the States or in the UK? Or do you want to fight him in the UK? You've been there before. You have I want to go to Africa for that one. Yeah. I mean, that's what I want to go. I want to go to Africa for that one and, um, and solely Africa. You know what I mean? And uh, I think that'll be a good one. You know, we be both both uh, uh, have roots from there, and uh, you know, it, it, it haven't been a fight there in a long, long time. I think the last one was Lennox Lewis and uh, Rockman. Rockman, correct, correct. Do you have so, an idea of uh, what country you would want to do it in? in Africa? Hey, you know, uh, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya. I mean, um, either one of those places. You know, uh, uh, it'll be you know, uh, it'll be a good fight for. It. I mean, just going back to the the continent. You know, uh, and, and being on on the, on the motherland, that's putting placing um, feet on the soil of there. So you know, I don't have a preference of uh, uh, which state to be in in the continent of Africa. You know, as long as we're there. And I'm yeah, sure the fans you. would love you to see you in Africa, but we already know the fans love you here in Brooklyn. What's it like to return to Barclays? Oh uh, man, it's an amazing feeling. You know, it's like a second home to me. When I set grounds here, I can feel the energy. You know, what I mean, I can feel the excitement. 
and uh, the power of it. You know, look, um, some of my most dramatic and exciting um, knockouts have occurred here, right here in this facility. So um, I'm looking forward to continuing that that and building on to my legacy. And one time you said you, you have a crazy right hand, but you know, there's a guy in Joe Joyce who seems like he has the best chin like ever. He takes everybody's yeah. shot. Do you ever kind of think about like a fight with him and say, hey, I want if you take my shot? I don't ever think that one of who can take the shot or whatever. I mean, it's unhealthy to take shots anyway, you know what I mean? I always tell people we risk our lives for you guys' entertainment, and uh, it's not cool to take punches anyway. So uh, with that being said, I, I'm not looking to see who can take any uh, uh, punches. I just want a great challenge, you know, and uh, if Joe Joyce is the one up there as well for a great challenge, dude, so be him as well. Hey, Chad, Chad Montez. Usyk, Usyk is going to be here on uh, ringside. He said he's going to be on ringside. He said he wants this fight next. Is there any conversation? Have you had any conversation with him? I haven't had any conversation with him. You know, uh, I'm on the outside looking in. I didn't ask certain people that I know that's been around him and, uh, and certain people that's close to me uh, if he's a man of his word. And uh, certain people have validated yes. So uh, I'm looking forward to him being a man of his word. I know the last champion that came to one of my fights and said they was willing to give me the fight was uh, Joe Parker. And uh, after having a devastating knockout, uh, he turns the other way. So uh, we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? The excitement is back. You know, I'm back and uh, long live the heavyweight division. Based on what you see, based on the Kalisha Shields and Savannah Marshall are fighting this weekend. They saw the billing it as the female Tyson Fury. Who, who, you, who you with again? Oh, the boxing voice. Yeah, the uh huh? The boxing voice? Hey, Jones, Jones, Jones. Jones, 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 You know, I've been in Tampa for a very long time. I've been in the South for a very long time. So uh, it's like one of those things, you, you know what to do, you know, to stay there, to to, to, uh, to be there. And, um, and uh, certain things change and certain things don't, you know what I mean? And, um, and by me being able to, to be familiar with being at the top, you know, we know how to we, we know how to to, to uh, put on a great show and, and be able to stay there and compete with the best that's up there, if not anything else. Do you know, Jackson, you can accomplish so much in the heavyweight division, uh, so many different things. Longest reigning heavyweight champion in the last uh, 15 years. Uh, tell us, what does that fire still burn? And if it does, where does it come from? My fire is still lit. I can say that. You know, I mean, I've been so successful in this. Uh, in this business, uh, uh, especially financially, where I don't need this no more, you know what I mean? And uh, it's a great feeling to be on the other side of, uh, of the grass when, uh, and my percentage, 98% of fighters don't have nothing to show for after the game is over. The only thing they have to show for is uh, mental illness, Parkinson's, uh, speech impairments, and a lot of other health problems that goes on while managers and promoters go on millionaires, Sometimes turn into billionaires and uh, be able to support their children and, and their children's children. While the fighters, the only thing we get is a pat on the back and say, oh, he was the greatest in his time. Well, what is that? You know what I mean? So uh, I'm just I'm just blessed to be in the position that I'm in. You know, I've uh, uh, accomplished so much in my career. And on top of that, I got a statue. How many of the greats, even greats now, that you know have a statue? So it's a lot of accomplishments that have been done. You know what I mean? All my companies inside of the ring, well, most of it, inside of the ring, outside of the ring, has been set in stone within the statue. It's been over yeah. four years. Two more, everyone. It's been Two over more. four yeah. years since you've been in the ring with someone other than uh, Tyson. What's that going to feel like? I mean, it's going to feel, it's just another opponent, another time, another place, and another day. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, I've been up at the top for a very long time, so uh, with over 40 some fights. So, you know, it's just another opponent. We're all trying to get, uh, have gang in life to support our family and uh, go on with life uh, and have to be able to have the good life, you know what I mean? So, I mean, Robert is just another opponent. Um, with Robert, we just have, a, 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 for me, we have a different ties than other people. See, other fighters, some fighters you have relationship with and some uh, other fighters you don't. And uh, with him, been a long time sparring partner, we have a relationship. So. Uh, that, uh, but once we get inside of the ring, that's where it's gonna count. I mean, this is the only time where we're in the ring where it really counts. Because other than that, it's just been s s sparring where uh, iron sharpening iron. But we got a lot on the line, and I, I highly respect Robert. 
he, uh, he, he's got a warrior heart, and I'm looking forward to him testing his heart against my heart. That's what's going to make a great fight. And I'm going to make the best man. Hey, Chad, what do you expect from your, 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 your ring entrance? Do you expect another uh, 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 historic ring Lil, entrance? Lil' Kim or something uh -huh. like that? Well, you know, I'm not going to kiss and tell. You know what I mean? So uh, y'all yeah, just have to stay tuned. A lot of people want to know what entrance or what I'm going to be wearing and different things like that. You know, uh, that's what part of pay-per-view about. So you ain't going to be there by that pay-per-view and see what's going on, baby. Deontay, Deontay. 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 Uh, just the last thing for me, uh, this last part of your boxing career has been a lot like a song. Uh, there's plenty of ways that you can hurt a man and bring him to the ground. You can beat him, you can cheat him, you can treat him bad, and you can leave him how he's down when he's down. Uh, tell us, uh, what is it like for you to have endured everything that you went through in these past couple of months in the last year? I mean, what don't kill you makes you stronger. That's the same. And um, I buy by that saying as well. And, uh, you know, I've been soaking in my happiness and my peace. So when you're happy in that peace, no matter what you may go through, all those things that you may go through, if you're happy in that peace, you know how to overcome those. You know how to endure all of it. I mean, look, I mean, ain't nothing been easy for me. You know what I mean? And the darker my skin, the more complicated and hard it becomes in the society and the world that we live in. And I don't think that's going to change. It's just, you know, I don't think it's going to change at all. But, uh, but uh, like I said, when you're happy in that peace, man, that don't really phase you. You just move with it. You just move with the punches and uh, you go on by life and you find certain ways to uh, to live life and, and enjoy the best as you can with your loved ones and your family. Chad, I thank you guys for so much for coming out. Yes, sir. Chad, there's okay. talks that Andy Reid is next to the winner of this fight. What do you think about, about his victory over Ortiz and what you love from that fight? I, I think Andy did uh, exactly enough to do what he had to win. You know what I mean? It was a great fight um, um, while it lasts. And um, I love to uh, entertain that fight. You know what I mean? And when that do, does happen, I'll, I'll tell Andy some secrets about something that he didn't even know. Mm. So uh, <laughs> I blessed him even before he even knew he was blessed. Mm. <laughs> Blessings, guys. I, 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 I,